Okay, so now that we are in our details component and it is pretty much rendering the same information as is on the home page. So if I go into here, we have the same information on here. So what I want to do is almost copy this kind of structure here. So we want to click through to our details page and then we want to add our CRUD functionality in here of the delete hotel and the update hotel. And we want to show more information also. So going back into our application here and going into our details component, if the details page boolean is passed into our information component, we want to conditionally render certain information. So going scrolling down into our description, just after our main feature, we want to add our features in here. So in here, if we have access to the details page, if that is true, we want to render something here. Otherwise, we want to render the view more information button in here. So if I cut that out and paste that in here, like so. And then in here, I want to render a P tag saying you are on the details page. So now if I save, you can see here you are on the details page. And then if I go into the home page, that renders the link to button here. So what we want to do is show the description first of all. So instead of this P tag here, we want to add a class name of description text. And then in the description text, we want to render out the hotel dot description. Now save. As you can see, the hotel description is rendering now. And just at the end of here, we want to add a strong tag. So strong. And this is going to say edit description. So this is going to be a clickable element that when we click onto it, it opens up a edit component. So edit description like so. So now if I save and this strong tag has a class name as well of edit text, edit hyphen text. So now when I hover over it, it should have a, almost a clickable element sort of feel to it. So now we need to add the functionality in for that. So I'm going to bring in some piece of state in here. So first off at the top of our file here, we want to have a Boolean state value. So edit description and set edit description. So if I go back down into here and on our strong tag, we want to add a non-click in here to say at the minute it's false but if we click onto it we want to do the opposite of true and if edit description is true we then want to show this here so the toggling functionality almost so now it is true we are showing this component and then if we click again it's going to show as false so then we won't show this component so on the strong tag we want to add in on click which has a function in here. So on click is equal to an anonymous function, which basically sets edit description. So on click set edit description, which is this here to the opposite of edit description, which is this here. So underneath this P tag, if edit description is true, we want to return a P tag in here edit me like so otherwise return null and we need to move this up into the p tag actually and now if i save and go into our app i want to hover over and click edit description and now you can see it says edit me and if i click it again it hides the component so now what we want to do is create this edit description component here and then we can update and also add the delete hotel button as well. So what I'll first of all do is add the delete hotel button. So that is just a simple button underneath. So button of delete hotel and all the buttons have the style on already. So hotel and now I want to wrap it in a react fragment because there are two children here now. So now if I save and as you can see, we have the functionality set here as well.